Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. Today we've got an alligator encounter because in Florida, those little lizards are everywhere. But this guy, he's kind of C blocking me a little bit. So check it out. I got some alligator action and I've got some snook action at the spillway. So guys, enjoy. And again, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please hit subscribe. Turn on your notification bell right now. No, like seriously, like right now. And enjoy the episode. Water looks decent right now, but I think this guy is kind of slowing down my chances of getting a fish. That right there is about an eight foot gator. So I'm not gonna cast over there, but I am gonna try and catch a fish. Oh. Dude, he's, coming, coming, he's coming right up to us. Coming right up. Look at this guy. Look at this guy right here. See, they're big and scary, but truth be told, they're more afraid of us than we are of them, but they will protect their territory. Oh, I was trying, I wanted to get them coming right up underneath. All right, so you saw the gator was going to that pipe and then went down underneath and he's just laying at the bottom somewhere. So I don't know where he is at because the water's just murky enough. I can't see to the bottom. So I wasn't able to get my fish yesterday and I came back to see if uh, the gator is gone and no, check this out. Buddy is still chilling right there. I wish y'all could see how big he actually is. The camera actually does no justice. One thing I did notice though is if you can see the grass down here, it's all pointing that direction, which means the water is moving that way. Uh, yesterday it was going in this direction, pushing inland. Um, so I'm gonna go check to see if the spillway is open and if there's moving water near the spillway and uh, hope that I can catch something in the, in the brackish water over there. There's uh, a lot of times there's snapper, there's ladyfish, sometimes there's tarpon, snook, even the peacock bass, largemouths and carp like to sit over there. Uh, they definitely can tolerate the brackish water, but for now, I'm gonna say the alligator won because two days straight, I haven't been able to catch a fish here. Got him. Nice snook. I knew, I knew I'd get him. So basically, I'm just, when this spillway's open, I'm just uh, dropping that bait along the, the current and making it look like a fish struggling to stay in the freshwater side. And these snook, they'll come up and just eat those fish that are getting pushed to the, to the saltwater side. So uh, I'm gonna put this one back. He's still strong and lively, but there it is. Now keep in mind, this was, this is on the Cast King MG12 bait casting reel. So uh, you see, it can handle some bigger fish. Time to wrap it up now. Time to go film with the homie monster Mike. Wait, 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 wait. One more right here. Sometimes they'll sit right behind this ledge when it gets weak. The current, when, they, when the current slows down, sometimes. Oh, nope, that is the ledge. Just lost my favorite. That's the end of the show, guys. So uh, until next time, you know the deal. Keep your head up. Well, let me get the sunlight for this. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward in tight lines. Oh, that's it. Quick little video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. But before the video's over, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on that notification bell because, because why not? This content is amazing, right? Right? And if you're into exotic animals, stuff like lemurs and monkeys and pets like that, check out my last video. You know, I took my daughter up to Boynton Beach and we were playing with lemurs and owl monkeys. 
We even got peed and pooped on. So it's a good time. So make sure you check out that video. I'll put it in one of these boxes right here that you can click on. So you can click on it and watch it now.